Enzo Sacra, a perfect four out of four over fences. With disdain, he wins the article. Duvan took a chance of the lock, but he was good. He landed seven lands clear. But put the kettle on, he's plucky, and she simply will not be denied. And it's the mayor, put the kettle on, who takes the racing post article. Edward Stone over the last, with springs in his heels. He lands three lands clear. Arkle time now. Again, it's a fantastic race. Like the Tuesday this year is obscene. Every year it is obscene. We've already seen Fasal Vega go and win the Supreme. So Quavega's baby's got and done that. Will Duvan's brother win the Arkle? Like, do the, not the unthinkable, but I've talked about the sibling thing a long time before. It does put me off horses to an extent. We were, I don't think we all were, but we weren't that sold on him as a horse over hurdles. He does look much improved for offence and he is a six to four favourite. Daryl. In your wisdom opinion, do you think John Bourne is a good favourite or a worthy favourite six to four? And then what's your take on the arc or who could beat him if someone does? I think he's a worthy favourite at six to four. Yeah, I do. I love the way he jumps. He's quick. He's uh, he's a strong stayer. What he did at Sandown was much improved on anything he did over hurdles. That form was given a bit of a boost by Boot Hill. Uh, look, it's not it's not proper grade one form, is it? But um, the track is the thing that I think is massively in his favour. So when you jump the third last, when you come swinging down on that old course, it's a pretty tight turn into that second last, right? And John Bon is going to go around there like a greyhound and he's not going to miss that fence. There's so many horses that miss that fence um, because they're, they're, they're asking to do it on a turn. And I can just see something like a dice like Donald, more so probably El Fabiolo, really, probably fluffing his lines there. But I think John Bond will meet that fence on a stride. So if he's pretty much in contention coming down after the third last coming down the hill, then I think it could be all over. So I, look, he's, he's how the race is going to be run is going to be very interesting because, again, he's quite headstrong as well, isn't he? Same as Dysart Donamo. He could be the key to this race because um, he's sort of got one way of going about his. his is is stuff really does like Dynamo and that could just light up John Bond a little bit. I'm hoping El Fabiolo can travel through the race, Dave, like uh, and just get a real good toe into it and just use his stamina. He's got such high cruising speed. He needs to jump better. We need to see him again. But I do think he's uh he's a proper horse going places. The the step he took from a maiden hurdle at Tremor to go within a head at of John Bonnet Aintree on two different grounds on his first two runs of his career, I thought was very, very promising. So mm-hmm. I'm with Elf Abiolo, Dave, at the moment. Ooh, interesting. Jamie, what's your thoughts on it? Because I think you were probably more in favour. Well, it's easy to say. Anyway, everyone was more in favour of John Bond than we were. But you, I think I think you did quite like him as a header, didn't you? Do you think he is the Arco winner in waiting? Well, he's technically he's not bomb proof anyway, Dave. I put it out with him. Uh, I really like Dice Artonimo. Uh, I criticised him a lot last year. You loved him last year. Um, I thought he was very impressive. Now, the time was nothing to write home about, but... The, it was the first time I thought he settled really well. He jumped well. I think he's like he's value. Like he's a massive price, a six to one top price. Uh, I think one horse that we were forgetting about here, uh, it just might be a muggy finished third place, twenty five to one. Like he won in November, and, and it's Bambridge. I think he'd be better on better ground. Back to two miles. No, solid not horse. Two, mile. two and a half. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. He stayed there other than Turner. To be honest, with you. I think he'd be. I know. Look, the ground was crap in Ferryhouse. Like you'd have to remember that. But I think he'll come back here. Uh, but look, if he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But it's Dice Art Dynamo for me at 6-1. to one. I think Ab Fabiola will go up. That's just my opinion at the, at the moment. Um, the jumping has to improve, obviously. And obviously, he well, hid behind John Bond in his second start in a grade one in entry. Uh, surely he's going to improve, but he'll need to brush up his jumping. I'm sure we'll see that at the DRF. Yeah, and that's the key thing, the Dublin Race Festival, for those Irish horses to see how Willie switch them about. Because Sunday at um, in the Lord of Zanace, Appreciate is in a another beginner's chase there. Well, it won't be a beginner's, but he's in a novice's chase, isn't he? And it's it's one that he, Willie Mullins has used in the past for horses that have been like Arkle type. It doesn't mean he's definitely going to run in it. I, I do really like Appreciate here. And I know we always thought that he needed a trip, but he's just exclusively raced at two miles apart from that two mile two. He travelled so well in the Champion Hurdle last year for 80% of the race and then just bombed. But we know they can't get him fit without racing. And he, he's, even his like debut over fences, you could see he's a bit of a... 
don't even know the right word. He's not like a twat, but he's a bit of a like an annoying horse, I bet, because I think he just does what he needs to do in certain races. Like he dicks about a bit, knows he's quite good. That that's what will get him beaten in our call. We know with Champagne Fever, he dicks about Western Warhorse. Appreciate it could be worse of it because something's got to try and get first one on John Bond. Something's got to take advantage of him wherever it is on the race course to get a few lengths in front of him because he will be staying on strongly, John Bond. So it'll be interesting to see which one of the Willie horses comes against him. So I think the way that it stands at the minute, you've got John Bond in your six to four. If it was John Bond, and then I could give you, so I don't know, let's just do a match bet. We'll say John Bond versus all of, or any of Willie Mullins' horses. Would you plump for John Bond right now or any of Willie Mullins' horses, if you could do it that way? Any of Willie Mullins' horses. Daryl? Uh, yeah, any anyway, of Willie Mullins' horses, yeah. Yes, I mean, I quite like that because that's the thing. We've all got one of our favourites of Willie Munnings. You like El Fabiolo, Jamie likes Dyson, I like Appreciate It. But potentially they're all not much of a muchness, but there isn't a world apart for each of them. So it will be a very interesting race. I, I do think John Bond probably is the right favourite, but I do at the same time think that he's going to get beat. So not that I, I want to like wish a horse to get beat, but I just think something beats him. I just can't really figure out what it is yet but there is still time to find out don't think there's any particular value in any of the markets at the moment a few people would have got on el fabio and dice at a bigger price at the beginning of the season so well done to you we will move on now to the champion hurdle we're about to see the greatest racehorse that's ever lived win his first of seven that's right he wins seven champion hurdles. actually i shouldn't say something this the last time i said that didn't i asked why died yes, anyway on that bombshell uh, please like the video, subscribe, comment below if anything that you fancy, and we will see you in the next one.